Today I show you how to disable NFC. The NFC stands for Near Field Communication. Near Field Communication. And it's very useful for contactless payments. It's a way to for two mobile phones to communicate with each other or one device, one terminal to communicate with the mobile phone. Where you can use the phone instead of the bank card to pay at a supermarket or any point of sale terminal in the, anywhere in the world basically you can use a card so this you could use this with google pay or apple pay also for apple for iphone and i will show you now how to disable it if you want to disable it i have google pay installed and set as the default option here to disable nfc completely and including contactless payments because contactless payments will work together with nfc so probably this is the reason why you would want to disable. You go to settings and here look for device connection. This might be different on your phone, but the the wording is uh, could be different. You can also search here for NFC in the search, but I will show you how to get directly to the setting. So device connection and here connection preferences. Tap there. Here in connection preferences, you have a lot of options. Bluetooth, Chromebook, QuickShare, on Android Auto, and also some options for Xperia, customized for Xperia. But this will be very almost the same in Google Pixel and many Android phones. And here you can also ch choose the settings for the cast and screen mirroring. But what you're looking for here, other than video and audio, is the NFC option. So you see the NFC option here. So here in connection preferences, you scroll down all the way passed on the Android Auto and all that to NFC. And in this screen, you can require device unlock for NFC. This is to improve security. So someone can't use the phone to tap to pay unless you have the fingerprint enabled. I have it off like this because I want to be able to pay even if I don't uh, confirm with the fingerprint. It will ask you anyway once in a while to do that. And then I have the contactless settings now some apps some banking apps they will really play around with your settings here so this is like how you recover your settings the default payment app here this is important another app might take away this setting to their own to their own and then google pay doesn't work so you want to have the google pay or apple pay if you use apple but google pay for android you want to have this one and not another banking app. These apps here, they didn't do that, but the app <laughs> that did this, I uninstalled it already, so it's gone. This, they never try to take over the NFC settings. There is also another setting here. So you have the default payment app. If you have another banking app that is open and it supports NFC, it can override the settings. So you can use default payment app except when another payment app is open and you can choose this when another app is open or always to always use the default i leave it like this so if i want to open another app to pay with that app i can use it this way it's more flexible so these are the settings for contactless payments and that's how i disable nfc completely and now it's off so now the card is there, it shows, but it's actually Google Pay is showing me that NFC is disabled. So maybe it will give me the option to enable it from here or no, it doesn't. So now the contactless payments do not work on this phone. If this is what you wanted, this is how you disable NFC for any near field communication even if it's another device or two phones together if you want to improve the security of your phone if you have the card with you and you don't need to use it on your phone that's it thanks for watching